Second method is drying grapes while they're still on the vine. This is also called late harvest or pasarlash. So in order for this to be possible, you need to have dry warm afternoons so the grapes do not actually get affected by gray rot. What happens is when the vine plant goes to dormancy, it stops absorbing water. So the grapes that are still on the vine, they actually start to lose water and they start to dehydrate. The sugar gets more concentrated, you get tropical fruit flavors and also the the fruit is the and the sugar is so concentrated that you get a rich mouthfeel. Third method is concentrating the grapes after picking. So what happens you pick the grapes you need to place them in a warm dry conditions and if there's any rot you need to be it needs to be removed so it doesn't affect the rest of the grapes. The one of the very famous Italian sweet wines made in this method is Recioto della Valpolicella. The fourth method is freezing the grapes while they're still on the vine. Very famous regions and countries that do this is Germany and Canada. So what happens? You leave the grapes on the vines well into the winter, sometimes, you know, in the following year. The when the temperatures re reach around minus seven degrees Celsius, you pick the grapes, this freezing temperature actually freezes the water inside the grapes. You bring the grapes into the winery, you press them, the water stays frozen on the press and only the pure concentrated sugar goes into the fermentation tank. This wine's grapes are super concentrated in flavor and in sugar. So when you're producing sweet wines with such concentrated grapes, the fermentation stops naturally. The reason for this is the yeast can actually not survive in a such highly concentrated sugar environment. It takes a long time for yeast to struggle to ferment these wines to up to 7% alcohol and it stops fermenting naturally because of the high concentration. And on the end you get low alcohol, super concentrated in sugar and flavor wine. Wine people, let's simplify wine together. Stay thirsty and wise.